Hey, hi guys. Uh, I'm Romel. I work for HP, and today I'm going to talk about uh, bringing your ESX-based deployment into native OpenStack uh, using the OVS VF solution. So, uh, so let's start it. What exactly the OVS VF is? So, uh, OVS VF is a service VM uh, which will be deployed on every ESX host running on a uh, uh, yeah, like uh, running in your data center, uh, which provides a L2 connectivity as a service. Uh, it's kind of service function uh, solution. So for OVS VF, we have support for VLAN, VXLAN security group, uh, and uh, and we for security group we use the OVS VF uh, Open VSUG firewall driver, uh, and uh, and the code is available over the Stack for Networking vSphere repo, and it is aligned with Kilo uh, release of OpenStack. So these are the following benefits you will get when you deploy OVS VF. Uh, it allows the vendor to migrate their uh, uh, invested ESX workload to cloud. Uh, it allows vendor to deploy ESX-based cloud with nat native OpenStack, uh, more or less the less learning curve. Uh, and, and you do need to use NOAA network, which is almost deprecated now. And we don't, uh, do not require any special license to deploy and run and manage. So this is a typical architecture for OES web solution. Uh, we have a Neutron server, we have NOAA Compute, and uh, as I told that it's, it's, a, it's a service VM which will be running on uh, every ESXi hypervisor in a vCenter. So in the diagram, you could see that uh, we have a Neutron server, uh, which provides the set of APIs to create networks and pro ports for an, a tenant. And for that, we have a, a thin mechanism driver running inside the ne uh, Neutron server. And for as part of NOAA Compute code, so we have a customized uh, NOAA VC OVS VM uh, NOAA VC driver, uh, which will spawn the VM and uh, and uh, does the networking for us. And as part of OVS VF VM, so uh, which which uh, actually uh, creates the uh, uh, port groups in the vCenter and creates the flows for the tenant VMs. So as I told that, so there is to be one OVS VM running should be running on every SXI host, and for that we have two uh, like deployment uh, use cases. One for the VXLAN, uh, VXLAN networks and another for the VLAN networks. So for VLAN networks, there has to be two uh, DVS switches that should be available per data center. And for that, uh, the first DVS switch should have uh, a trunk port group uh, that is connected to OES via VM. And for the management and data port group, we have another DVS switch. Uh, and, uh, and on the first DVS switch, you have a uh, port, uh, port group created for tenant VMs. And for VLAN case, so there has to be a two uh, DVS switches uh, deployed on a, on a per, per cluster basis. So this is a uh, internals for OES via VM. So we have a uh, following bridges inside the uh, OES via VM. Uh, basically, it, it runs an L2 agent that, that we call it as OES via agent. And it can it configures the flows on uh, security bridge, integration bridge, and for uh, on the VXLAN case we have tunnel bridge, and for VLAN case we have a physical bridges. Uh, it 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 uh, like uh, uh, it runs on event basis. So uh, as you spawn a VM on a vCenter, you get a VM create event, uh, and it will uh, talk to Neutron server that I will be going to talk about in the further slide. The we have a sequence diagram flow. So uh, as as of now, just uh, let's assume that it works on uh, event cluster event basis, and for uh, security groups we have open vSwitch based firewall driver. So this is a f uh, control for for VLAN uh, case. So we have a uh, compute proxy running, uh, which uh, using that we boot a VM, and that the request go to Neutron server, and then the Neutron server will have an entry in the database for that port. Uh, the NOAA compute, uh, uh, like since we are told that we have a customized NOAA VC driver, so that spawn the VM without NIC, we get a VM created event, and we could contact Neutron server use, uh, using a get port for device RPC call. Uh, after that, we get port details, we create a port group, uh, and uh, attach, and the NOAA will be keep waiting for that port, and it configures the port, and uh, later it adds security group flows and con uh, inform the neutron server that everything is working fine. 
Okay, so for uh, uh, VXLAN case, uh, uh, we have uh, something different. So you spawn a VM. The, the first two three tags are same. Uh, you spawn a VM. Uh, no, Nova will create a VM without NIC, and uh, uh, the Neutron server will, uh, uh, like the OES VF agent will contact the Neutron server to get a local VLAN ID. Uh, so for VXLAN networks. Uh, we have a local to VLAN mapping, a local VLAN to VNI mapping. So for that, we contact to Neutron server uh, to get a local VLAN ID, and we create a port group with local VLAN ID. Uh, later, the the NOAA will key wait for that port group. The NOAA attaches that port uh, to the port group and reconfigure the NICs, and everything was fine. So for OVS VF, we have a uh, like two deployment uh, uh, like uh, solutions available. Uh, one we can use DevStack, which is available at this rep, uh, URL. Uh, the second is that we have a automated uh, installer, which runs in two modes. One is the fully automated mode, and the second is man manual mode. So the fully automated mode, mode means that you don't have to do anything. Uh, everything. The, uh, uh, thing should be done by the installer, and for manual thing you have to uh, provide. Uh, you have you have you should have a pre-existing DVS and port groups to be available in the vCenter. So as part of installation process, we upload a uh, OVA image on a ESX host in a data center, and then we have a uh, one INI file that that we call it as OVS via INI file. We provide all the details to it, and we run the script, and it will deploy the OVS VM on every ESX host. We also have a uh, uh, uninstall, update, and upgrade uh, uh, solutions available to support these deployments. Okay, so these are the future plans we have for these solutions. So we are planning to upstream the automated installer that we have. Uh, we are planning to provide the support for DVR and uh, and the L2 gateway, uh, and and we also have uh, plans to support an intra-host uh, VM access control. And uh, the last is that to have a parity between uh, OVS Neutron agent and the OVS VF agent, like to support like L2, POP, or other features. And these are the references. You will find your source code available at this URL. Uh, and the, we have a wiki. You can read about it, all the things, uh, and internals of OVS VF that I uh, talked about. And we do have a white paper collaboration with AT&T. Uh, it's available at, at this URL. And the other blueprints are given below. So uh, thank you.